insane i know kind of feel like i cheated in a way hello friends it's Mariana, and welcome back to my youtube channel as you can see by the title and thumbnail of this video i'm going to be breaking down everything that i spent in 2023 as a 23 year old living in london and i'm so excited for this video so in this video i'm going to be going through all of my month totals my category totals i'm so excited i have put a lot of time and effort into this video if you watch my previous little vlog you can see how long it took me to get all of this data ready for you i am so excited i can't stop saying that i'm so excited so let's get right on with the video these are going to be the chat chapters for today's video if you want to watch and I want to do a quick little shirt shout out I'm wearing a very fitting shirt for this video which says having a meltdown in Hannah Montana writing I thought it was quite fitting for this video as I'm going to be looking at everything I've spent in a year so you know meltdown shirt is ready and this is actually one of my friends designed they have an Etsy shop so I'll leave that link down below let's get right into the first part Okay, so for this first part, we're going to be looking at each month's totals. I have been doing what I spent in a month since May of last year on my channel. And so every single month, I break down everything that I spent into little categories. And I have a total, obviously, at the end of the video for each month. But since I wasn't doing that from January through April, I'm still going to include everything in this video. So you don't have to go back to any video to see this data. We're starting with January. I do have my Mac. I cannot memorize this whole video and all these numbers. So I will be looking down for a little bit, unfortunately. But that's okay. For January, I spent 2,066.35p. Starting the year off not too bad, but still on the higher end of what I would like to be at for my monthly budget. February was 1,901.07. March, 1,788.34. That is a lot better. That's kind of where I would love to be most of the time. April, again, was amazing. It was 1,702.79. May, now here's where it gets a little bit expensive. May was my most expensive month by far last year and due to a few reasons so may was 5271.36 i told you it was expensive in may i did end up going to brazil and the states because i had my sister's graduation there and then i went to brazil to see some family and i also ended up buying my new laptop last year so all of that in one month was crazy expensive but that was very much like a specific incident let's just say no other month goes close to that and i'm very happy about that but from may like i mentioned earlier it, that's when i start posting my what i spent and i have all that available on my channel in one playlist if you want to see the breakdown of all of that like the 5,000 pounds that i spent you can go watch the may one june let's continue was 2023.33 july was 1,742.70 so again a little bit better august again not too bad it was 1,897.85 and september was 2,063.65 october 1,928.34 november was 2,188.64 and then the December was quite expensive. It was 2,838.10p. Those are all of my months totals. If you want to see the breakdown of each month, you can go watch. Like I mentioned, I have a playlist with all those videos, but that was all the totals for each month. So now for the second part, I'm going to give a little bit of background about me and my spending and then I'll also break down some averages from like these totals and what that would be like in terms of the day, week and months. Very quick little background about me. If you have been watching a little bit of my videos, you might know this already, but I moved to London only in like July, August of 2022. And so last year was actually my first full year living in London. It was also my first full year ever like paying for myself full time. I started being financially independent when I graduated uni, which was summer of 2022. So I had just a year and a half being like fully on my own financially last year was my first full year doing that so this video is very important to me and also very exciting because i get to see how i spent my money what i spent it on and how much i saved and budget and all of that which i'm very passionate about a lot of my videos on this channel is to do with saving and budgeting specifically in your 20s and you know in a very expensive city also i really want to mention that i live in a one bedroom apartment and i share this with my boyfriend and we split all of our bills groceries that we buy together we split so that does help a lot in terms of finance and I know that I'm coming from a very privileged place like I said I didn't have to support myself fully financially until I graduated uni but I'm still very cautious I still save and I very very rarely like spend just cuz like I do think about my purchases so that is a little bit of background a little bit of a disclaimer but just wanted to get that out as well now I'm gonna move on to the averages so you won't have the total yet but the averages for each day week and month of last year i basically just took the grand total and just divided it by 365 days 52 weeks and then 12 months like separately if I would have spent the same thing every single day and keep in mind this includes rent bills transportation travel 
big purchases so if I had spent everything the same every single day my daily average would have been 75 10p my week average was 527.16 and my monthly average was 2284.38 which to be fair I don't think that's really that bad at all an average of 2.2 almost like 2.3k a month as someone who is 22 23 last year and living in London I don't think that's bad at all like I did so much traveling that includes paying for my rent bill and food like all the necessities that I need subscriptions shopping so I'm actually quite happy with that the next part is going to be the most interesting part which is going to be my categories totals and breakdown whenever I do my what I spend in the month videos I have a list of certain categories and I went in and added all the totals for each category for the whole year my categories that I usually do are fixed costs typical variable costs and then specific costs and then within those categories I have subcategories so for example for my fixed costs I have rent and bills and council tax and subscriptions and TFL those are things that are going to be reoccurring every single month my typical variable costs are variable costs like groceries for example that occur every month and specific costs are things like travels or credit card statements or purchases that don't happen every month and are specific to that month we're gonna do the totals and then the subcategories my fixed cost total for 2023 was 13,619.98 the subcategory breakdown for that was rent and bills at 9,529.85 council tax which was 1,099.50 subscriptions was 493.68 and then tfl was 2,496.95 that is a breakdown of my fixed cost for 2023 next category as my typical variable cost so the total for for that was 6,494.28. Here's where I have most of my subcategories, so bear with me. Eating slash going out, I always put together because I rarely ever go out. That total was 1,351.63, which I think is amazing. So if I divide my eating going out total between 12, that's an average of 112 for every month for eating and going out for the whole year. So I'm very proud of that. The groceries total was 2,043.44. Pharmacy was 370.18. Coffee out was 145.16 but I would like to mention that I didn't start separating coffee out from eating and going out until April and basically coffee out it just means any coffees that I bought out that I didn't make at home because I do have an espresso machine so I try to like have a very tight budget for how much coffee I can get out so I started doing that in April so technically that doesn't include um, the first three four months of the year but that was my coffee total for last year miscellaneous and unexpected like big spends of last year was 1,567.14 so that's why it's good to save and budget because you never know what you have to spend money on shopping for last year was 523.59 takeaway was 203.80 and gifts was 289.34 those were all of my breakdowns for my typical variable costs my last category is the specific costs so the total for that was 7,298.26 and I had four main specific cost categories so one was travel uh, with travel last year I spent 1,568.75 tattoos was 444.03 credit card statement was 3,195.84 and and then my new uh, laptop was 2089.64. One thing I noticed though with last year is that my credit card statements, I kind of feel like I cheated in a way because whenever I put something on my credit card, since it doesn't come out that month, and then I when my credit card statement does come out, I don't want to go in and see which what I spent for each category, so I just make it one big credit card thing. But the credit card statement can include things like flights, it can include things like shopping, anything that I put on my credit card, like concert tickets. So it's a little bit vague. I just wanted to point that out because technically those subcategory things weren't accounted for it was just all one number so now we have the grand total part of my spending for 2023 in london as a 23 year old the grand total is 27,412 and 52p insane I know. I won't lie though, I feel like that's very realistic. I did have to, for certain things like my Brazil trip, take a little bit out of my savings. I also saved throughout the year for different things and I spent money of course. So I think overall I kind of broke even for the most part, saving a little bit. But I think as someone in their early 20s, it was my first year, you know, 
fully financially independent. I would say that's pretty good. I didn't overspend, that's for sure. I either spent as much as I earned or saved some money and I still have money saved and I feel like I'm pretty good with my money. But I just really wanted to share this video and kind of break down all of my costs because when I was moving to London, I watched a lot of these videos kind of get an idea of realistically what it would be like. I feel like the way I spend my money, it's right in between being responsible but also you only live once. Like I, I do go on lots of trips, I do go out, I do go to concerts, but I don't overdo it and that is just a me thing so make sure you take all of these values um, if you're trying to decide how expensive London is with a grain of salt because this is just one person's experience and everyone's gonna spend their money so differently and I just wanted to share this as one point of view but there are so many different videos there of what people spend in a week or in a month living in London that will be everything for today's video if you enjoyed this video please do give it a like because that helps me out so much with the YouTube algorithm and I would really appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button below as well so you can see more of my videos and I will see you in my next one bye